The U.S. moves closer to a shutdown amid the coronavirus fears. There are several new developments in the coronavirus pandemic, both locally and nationally this morning. Today, a clinical trial testing a vaccine designed to protect against the new coronavirus begins in Seattle. Public health officials say it will take a year to 18 months to know if it works and to make it available to the public. Governor Larry Hogan ordered all casinos and racetracks in Maryland to close. He is asking bars, restaurants and other businesses to limit their amount of customers. There are more than 30 cases of the coronavirus here in Maryland. This morning, we've learned a Loyola University student tested positive. Another is waiting for results. The school's president released a statement saying the student has not been on campus since showing symptoms and is recovering at home. There are new cases in Maryland, including the very first one in Howard County. This as businesses continue feeling the impact of the coronavirus. WJZ is live in Howard County. Stetson Miller explains the state of emergency that went into effect there. Stetson. Lynn, good morning. Yeah, the state of emergency is now in effect here in Howard County, and that means that this mall here behind me will be closed for at least the next seven days. A precaution officials are taking after the first confirmed case of the coronavirus here. The first confirmed case of coronavirus, of COVID-19, has been identified in Howard County. The latest coronavirus case in Maryland, an 82-year-old woman with underlying health conditions who is a resident at Lorraine Elridge Nursing Home. She's now being hospitalized. There is no additional risk to the general public at this time. Howard County officials closing malls and movie theaters. I'm instructing the mall in Columbia, effective midnight tonight, to close for at least seven days. I think it's extreme. I think it's mass hysteria. And the governor issuing an executive order Sunday prohibiting mass gatherings and shutting down casinos, giving a stern warning on Twitter. Bars, restaurants, and other non-essential businesses across the state must comply. Failure to follow this order is a crime. And to think that this is all going quiet now would have been unthinkable even 48 hours ago. Now bars and restaurants like the ones in Fells Point considering whether to close. It is concerning. Baltimore City officials confirmed the city's first person with the coronavirus contracted it through community transmission. And in Montgomery County, officials say their cases are continuing to grow with 12 total in the county, pleading with the government for more tests. We dearly need the federal government to get serious about the provision of testing. Officials are saying that while testing is important, the focus right now are efforts to contain the virus. We're live at the Mall in Columbia, Stetson Miller for WJZ.